attention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by the You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Whiffs on that offering. Overhand counter by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Superman punch lands. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Back to the jab now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Punch got blocked there. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Body shot. Oh, nice jab. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body, man. I wish I was that tall. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Just over three minutes to go, round one. He ripped the body there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, like the thought there, good attempt at a counter, ultimately it's no good. Trading huge shots. Let's see if he's gonna be a last man stand. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you gotta think his opponent is gonna continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work that the swelling has started to occur. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Hook to the head there by Choi. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Able to block the punch there. Right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Establishing the jab. 
Under a minute now to go in round one. Well, the striking play continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. 20 seconds left. Oh, rips the body shot there. Final seconds of the round. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Huh. Round two is next. All right, sit down, bud. That was awesome. Great round. Another round in the books there. Everything you're throwing is landing. I want you to stay heavy with those kicks. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Oh, big left hook there. Pretty nice lead right there by Choi. So he's really starting to put... Brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Where mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Leg kick lands. Great block there. Oh, and yet another finds the target, so a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice 
nice shot inside by the champion. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier. Well, that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Under a minute now to go in the round. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Hooked to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. Seconds winding down in round two. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonhead will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. sort of maximize those 60 seconds on story. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Nice block. Doing a great job fighting behind the reach and dictating where the fight takes place. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. Both fighters throwing heat now. Back to the jab now, no good. And there's that elbow blocked by Choi. Three minutes to go. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice jab. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to us. Still getting active, lands another combination to the head. 
Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Effective punch from the clinch there by Choi. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. And a miss with the right hook. Under two minutes now to go. That shot blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful body kick. He gets to the right knee. Whiffs on the right hand. Get out of there. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. in a big moment in this fight. Block that shot there. Under a minute now to go. All right, he's been very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, that strike landed, not gonna help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. You gotta look at that thing. You gotta oh, look at God. that work that you've done. You gotta take that canvas and you gotta paint it, man. You gotta get at him over and over again and continue to attack that same area. Feel sorry for the guy after the fight. Yeah. But right now, he's got to pay the price. All right, so the round is over, and the cut on the bridge of his nose continuing to be a factor. You thought maybe it was getting better, not so much. Blood trickling down, and when the blood starts to trickle down into the mouth and upset the breathing pattern, that's when it starts to really become a factor. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because Ready the reality go. is... Right. When you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality? Oh, yes, 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 we'll see if he can finish. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of... Oh, oh, nice right hand. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, collar tie. And now some distance as they pull apart. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's... Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't gonna get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Good is that jab by Choi. Straight right is there. 
Ooh, big shot land. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, nice. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing, he's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. He's got that jab. Wow, oh, about that strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think he's going over to fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Beautiful job hitting his hand. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. Oh, the damage just oh. continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Under a minute now to go in the round. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, no. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world.